Hey guys. again for another steamy very very nice video so today guys i'm in little bit simple kitchen na mkiniona kitchen unajua kama kawaida tunaunda mapocho pocho yeah so today on the menu is ground nuts i'm going to show you how to prepare those crunchy tasty ground nuts what wengi they always find it hard to prepare ground nuts wengine zinachomeka wengine zinakaje but you know what it's just very simple tips that you are missing and those tips are the ones I'm going to show you. So first of all, I want to show you the ingredients that you are supposed to have in the kitchen. Very simple ingredients and the most important of all, I'm going to show you how to prepare them so that it's it okay, those crunchy tasty ones. So I'm welcoming you to a little bit simple kitchen. Come with us. Let's do this thing up to the end. Remember to subscribe share and like so guys these are our ingredients as you can see right here we have um, a glass of water we have salt and uh, we have our ground nuts kuna ile time yenyewe wasi wengine huwa wanapenda kupika with them so, uh, you can use um, oil yeah so but in this case the simplest one na yenye huwa naona iko somehow better according to me ni hii ya kutumia tu maji unatumia salt alafu we are going to tunaenda ku roast kwa pan using a pan because now we are not using oil ndani kama tutasema we are pan frying it this one we are going to use salt we are going to roast roast it on a pan <laughs> something of a result but in another video i will show you how to use um, uh, oil yenye unataka kutumia oil kuna ingina watu wengine wao wanaiweka mpaka kwa oven So I'm going to do that uh, in other videos. So make sure you stay tuned. We will show you that in a bit. But in the meantime, let's use this simple one. So right now what we are going to do, we are going to mix our water, our salt kwa hizo ground nuts. Ground nuts kwa Kiswahili inaitwa njugu. So uh, this is what I'm going to do right now. Um tunaenda kuchukua njugu You make sure you, you don't want to put a lot of salt in it and also you don't want to put um, uh, salt kidogo salt is for it to make it tasty you know yeah so um, unaweka tu kulingana na kiwango yenye unataka so first of all we are going to sprinkle our water on it sorry for that isikuwe maji mingi pia ni maji tu kidogo because hiyo uh, maji ndio inaenda kusaidia uh, inaenda kusaidia salt yetu ikuwe well mixed in it. Ya si ati tunaweka maji mingi ndio nifanye kitu kingine. That is the purpose. So salt tunaweka hiyo. That's enough. You can add more or you can put less depending on the quantity you have ya njugu na pia venye wewe mwenyewe unataka salt yako kutaka ikuwe mingi ndani. But I prefer if it were salt mingi sana ndani just a little. So the next step is just changanya it the way i'm doing right now ah, life is simple you don't have to work hard see at you unatafuta sijui vitu gani vitu gani just as simple as that you can test it kutaka kujua kama salt imeshika vizuri ama unataka kuongeza at this point so as i told you you don't need to use a lot of water maji tu na sprinkle zikuwe wet see at the soak ndani maji ikuwe mingi The purpose of water is for it to just be wet enough so that the salt never mix vizuri and at the same time wakati unaanza ku roast hapo pa pan isianze kuungua immediately it's supposed to take a while kidogo 
So let me just test nione kama eh, sauti yangu imekuwa sawa. Mm, iko sawa. So the next process that I'm going to do right now, I'm just going to make sure that uh, first of all you need to put on your pan kwa moto. Then you light it, make sure that it's on a low heat. Yeah. Alafu wache hiyo pan ichemke kidogo, ipate moto kidogo for about um, just a few a few seconds like 30 seconds ipate moto vizuri yes like this one of mine nilishaweka moto so nikishikilia hivyo na ona iko sawa so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to add our njugu in it yeah so let's do that Added our njugu. So guys, there are so many steps that you need to get um, it right. First of all, you have to ensure that once umeweka your njugu for the pan, make sure that you stir them. Hmm? So make sure that you stir. Okay, let me mention to you quickly the rules. First of all, the steps. Make sure that you light your your cooker or whatever. Kama ni jiko unatumia, kama ni stove, kama ni meko. Once you've lit it, unawekelea your pan or sufuria inapata moto for some time. For like 30 seconds. Then, you empty your njugu in it. That is step number three. And then step number four, you stir. Make sure you give it a stir every time. Baka yo maji the yaita evaporate yishe. So you continue stirring. Just ensure that you keep stirring. Yes. The reason why you keep stirring is because um you want all the the ground nuts to evenly cook. And also to enable them not una utapata kuna zingine zinaanza ku zinaanza ku ungua before zingine zive and the reason why you are cooking it on a low heat is because you want them to cook kwa sababu unapata kuna zingine ukiweka moto kubwa ama moto mob you will find out that utapata kuna zile zinaanza ku ungua the cotyledons zinaanza kuungua hii maganda ya juu inaanza kuungua na unapata ndani haijaiva so you just have to make sure that you follow those simple rules yeah that is for pre cooking and the cooking process now we are going to after zimeiva there is also a post cooking process that i want you to watch until the end so that you get that tip very right yes usipofala usipofata all these simple if you don't follow all these rules or all these tips you won't be able to achieve those crunchy, tasty jugus of yours. So at the moment what I'm just going to do is I will keep stirring them. Yes, remember we said that we keep stirring to keep it evenly cooked. Na to make sure that akuna yenye inaungua hata moja. Ah, that's it. So as you also do that, be aware of tumawe mawe twenye tunapatikana ndani like in this case hizi zangu nilikuwa nishaziokota first of all ukitaka njugu zako ziko nzuri unaziokota kama venye unaokota um beans a material ensure that you are keeping the rules the way we said you keep stirring them so guys what do you normally eat? Or what is that moment you normally think of eating ground up? Let me tell you a story. There was a guy after Aliniona Nikiwa kwa cereal shop when we were buying these njugu. He was making fun of us. Alikuwa anasema hizo njugu zote mmenunua gai mnaenda kufanyia nini 
then i was like seriously so maybe we need to guys just in case you have plans hey okay name me at tatu ama mbili ama moja don't ask me that stupid question there are so many ways people prepare groundnuts as i was mentioning uh, earlier on in the in the, in the video niliwaambia um, kuna wale wenye wanapenda kuzi kuweka kwanza kwa pan wanaweka um, mafuta that is one way of cooking them unaweka mafuta kwa pan hiyo pan ikishakuwa moto unaweka mafuta unai unaipaka vizuri mafuta kiasi tu alafu then you, you put in your groundnut alafu unaongeza ka salt so that is one way of doing it ya zinatokea zikiwa that um, there is a taste of it also many people the reason why they do that ni venya wataki is stick kwa pan yes the way you do it zikiwa like the way kama hizi zenye nafanya saa hizi of course you will see zikianza kuiva utaona zimeanza ku stick stick kidogo hivi kwa pan yes so some people our family ziki stick kwa pan it is okay also it's also a different way of cooking them yes another method unapata kama mse ako na cooker an oven unapata anaziweka hapo ndani you just um, there is a process you normally do that of which all these processes I'm going to share with you the tips I'm going to prepare them exactly the way it's supposed to be done that way and you are going to get these videos soon first of all nilitaka tuanze na this simple one the simplest of all well not the simplest of all but mimi na prefer this one because it's the most common method ambayo unachanganyia salt kwa salt na maji unachanganya na njugu then you just put them on the pan na unazikanga kaanga hivi you just keep mixing and stirring them like this until they are evenly cooked and you get that crunchy texture that crunchy feeling on your tongue in your mouth yes as you eat them so guys um alafu nilikuwa nataka nijue where can i get ground nut mimi napenda njugu sana where can i get them because apparently at the moment they were retailing at uh, 200 shillings per kilo i mean this one i bought them in a cereal shop I, they were retailing at uh, 200 shillings per kilogram where can i get at a cheaper price if you have a cheaper price per kilogram kindly share them out let me know and i'm going to i'm going to buy if you have them sell them to me i will buy it in bulk or if you have any leave either in Nairobi or anywhere where i can get them at a cheaper price kindly share in the comment section so that i can go get them and also tapo umesaidia wale jamaa wenye wanataka this drama yes hiyo ni biashara manze nimekupatia kama uko nazo and you are willing to share at a cheaper price to send to me at a cheaper price kindly let me know leave a comment and your contact in the comment section yeah so as we keep stirring them the way we are doing right now ukiangalia vizuri they are starting to turn blackish yes ukiona zinaanza kutan that blackish unajua zinaanza kuiva and they are almost due you need not to leave it now another tip that I told you that I'm going to share out because we still have so many tips that I'm supposed to share out as we continue cooking them I told you that when you okay this is another uh, secret ukiona zimeanza kutan black ish jua zimeanza kuiva so kama moto yako iko juu sana make sure you may reduce kabisa to the very the lowest heat that you have so that we just make sure just in case kuna zenye zilikuwa zimeanza kuungua na hazijaiva ndani you make sure that is made as well 
And the reason why we, we keep serving them is because we don't want kuna zenye zianze kuungua alafu zingine hazijaiva. So tunazikanga kaanga hivyo also because to ensure that hakuna zenye hakuna zenye zinaanza kuungua kabla hazijaiva. Hiyo heat isikae kwa heat zishikane na pan kwa long time. Yeah. So we still have like um two more tips or two more methods you are supposed to keep into consideration while making the drama. Mhm. Na zile hizi ni zile nono. I don't know how they are called but kuna kuanga na this version zenye ni nono na kuna kile kwenye tunakuanga pemba but dogo. I don't know the difference. Mimi na huwa na kimtuzi na system but we have those people that wana sema anga kile kidogo ni kitano kushinda hizi na wanyana sema these ones are better than the, the smaller ones I don't know me, I always feel the taste same but I don't know what is your what is your take on that yes, so they are almost done at this point unaona venya na shinda ni kizichanganya kwa haraka kwa sababu na unani kama zimeiva hiva sana. Oh yeah. So let's test. Mm. The almost there. Mm -hmm. So you keep carrying them. Ukitaka kujua zimeiva you can see some of them have already started peeling like this one. Na ukikaangalia vizuri kameta mpaka brown ish. Hivyo inamaanisha zinaiva. Another way ya kushi kujua kama zinaiva you can just pick one na unajaribu kutoa ngozi ukiona imeanza kupeel off easily like that unajua ni kuiva zimeiva. Ukiona it's not peeling off that easily unajua bado zingali na process kidogo. So at this time mimi hizi zangu kwa sababu nimeona zimeanza kutan blackish inamaanisha zimeiva vizuri and I've already confirmed from these ones when you see peel I've tried to peel some unaona zimeiva vizuri so at this moment I just want to switch off my hip then tip number three unaziacha zina rest for some time you leave them to rest for about uh, um, two minutes or three minutes they cool down i will tell you the reason why you are supposed to do that i will tell you the reason why you are supposed to do that yes in a few all right i think we got sawa sasa so what we need to do right now i'm just going to leave them as you can see most of them or all of them unaona zimetan blackish at the same time so that means that rotten zimeiva evenly at the same time mm. as simple as that na ukiangalia pan yangu haija corrode sana but um, sometimes it corrodes unapatanga sometimes it corrode sana so it depends it depends guys it depends yes so if the zango ziko sawa i can't go beyond this kwa sababu naona ziko sawa so what i'm going to do i'm going to switch i'm going to switch the message off it so i'm going to leave them to rest and i will tell i told you that i will let you know the reason why you are supposed to leave it to rest before you start eating them or before you store them i will tell you in a few so guys here are our ground nuts they are already cooked ziko poa kabisa yeah as you can see them zimepoa sahi it's now 5 minutes nimeziacha zikapoa for like 5 minutes na ukitaka kujua zimeiva unaona nikijaribu kufanya hivi ina peel ngozi tu inatoka tu yeah you can see ukiona ina pilivo then inside ina kabis brownish unajua kameiva kuiva kwa sawa mbaya sana you see hiyo imeiva ukiona ina kawaitish unajua haijaiva 
ama kama ngozi haipilo haijaiva vizuri unaona yeah so uh, that is another step i told you i'm going to tell you the reason why i was supposed to i i had to leave it to to sit for about 5 minutes kwanza before i store them so i will be telling you in a bit but before that um as you can see here i have my containers so this is where i'm going to store my groundnuts by the way usishangae venye zimekuwa mingi sahi hapa hivi ni venye nime nimepika mara mbili so the first one nili cook the second one pia nikapika so the second one sikuwa nimeiweka nilichapa off camera kwa sababu camera ilikuwa imeenda off kidogo yeah but um, these are our ground up at the moment yes so and by the way guys so during the storage you need to ensure that you are storing it in an airtight container then you store it in a um, you store them in a cool but dry place usiweke kwa fridge but pia usiweke mahali kuna jua direct sana that is if you are storing them just in a cool dry place a, a place that is dry si mahali kuna wetness a lot but the most important part is so long as it is in an airtight container container like this one yes so this one is for the future use because i cannot eat all these groundnuts at a, at a go so you need to store them here for and you will eat them for a while for several weeks to come yes so i'm going to show you how i'm going to store them right now kume hapa ndani So by the way um, this is another time when kuna wale watu wanapenda kukula zile zenye hazina maganda or if you want to store them kama hazina maganda so at this moment you can do that ile unazisugua tu you just sugua them zikisha cool kama saa hizi unazisugua unatoa hii maganda alafu you just store them zikiwa hivyo so as for me nataka nizistore zikiwa na maganda hivyo kwanza then um, maybe wakati wa kula nitatoa or something for it off yes so that is our first container Yes, so how do you normally cook fuel? Hmm? Unapika aje. Alafu nataka pia mniambie kama nimefaulu nimepika vizuri ama um, there is some part that I miss. But according to me, I'm satisfied with the end product cause um ime turn out vizuri venye nilikuwa na expect. Yes. Zimeiva vizuri sana. Yes, and As you can see my pan haijakuwa that haijakuwa that corroded haijakuwa that black iko tu sawa venye ilikuwa kidogo tu wakati unakuwa ume soak njugu zako kwa maji during the first uh, method yenye niliwaonyesha pale just make sure that umeweka maji kidogo usiweke maji mob kwa hizo njugu kidogo tu then um ukishazichanganya in case kuna any water that ilikuwa imebaki pale you rinse it out once you rinse it out before you place those njuguz kwa your pan now zile zenye zitakuwa kwa pan ile maji tu yenye ilikuwa sasa kwa hizo njugu it evaporate ikisha evaporate you will find that your pan will not be that corrosive but kama utaeka na maji then definitely your pan itapata maji kwa sababu hizo njugu or definitely hizo codlidons venye zitakuwa zina venye zitakuwa zinaiva hivyo ndo zitaanza kuwa sustain juu ya hiyo maji itaanza kuwa sustain kwa pan so that is the one secret you need to find you need to know kama ulikuwa unapika njugu zako zinapata pan imekaa black that is the secret so zili pan out vizuri ama ni aje i'm going to store them here venye ziko hivyo Let me just empty here a little bit of it. Liquid even. Yes. So 
I'm going to screw this uh, I'm going to screw these uh, tops naenda kufunga hivyo so that it will be now airtight zikiwa hivi I'm going to eat them forever like it's going to stay here for many weeks yeah, so mimi kazi yangu tu ni kukuja kuchomoa kama nimezikula yeah you need to store them in such containers ama mahali tu popote penye unaona it's airtight unazifunikia vizuri yes so this is how our njugu came out the kienyeji way remember uh, simple our simple kitchen little brick and mom's simple kitchen is all about cooking simple things ya yeah, nakupatiana tips on how to cook these things the simplest way possible yes so guys oh there, uh, i told you that i'm going to tell you one secret about Uh, something before i end the video and that was about um, why i left the map to sit for about 5 minutes before niziweke nizi store them one of the reason is because they are supposed to be to the cool zikisha cool ukiweka hapa hivi because these are plastic containers now they will be just okay but the most reason uh, about it is because ukizitoa kwa moto unapatanga bado zinaka they are not that crunchy you get it they are not that crunchy at that at that moment yeah so when you leave it to sit for some time ndio uta realize now they become that crunchy that solid crunchy uh, feeling yes so that is the the reason why you have to leave it uh, at that point to rest kidogo before you store them yes So that is all about our video. I hope you loved it and um, I'm sure you are going to enjoy making these uh, these ground ups at your own time. Remember to subscribe, remember to share our videos so that it can reach other people. Remember to like them so that YouTube can recommend to a larger following or a larger audience so that we can help that person mwenye pia amekuwa ki struggle kupika njugu zake zinatoka maybe black kabisa ama zinakosa kuiva remember it's just a simple secret just the way we've done it so until the next video guys peace god bless you